It was only last year that good old stains became stains upon Thames. And I'm glad to say that there's enough of a sense of humour in the community around here for people to say it should really have been called stains under the Thames. Because as torrential rain continues to pour down and water levels go up, an army of hydrologists, meteorologists and field workers are now attempting to get a clearer picture of what this extraordinary flooding is doing to our towns and countryside. Our sound editor Tom Clark reports now on the threats from sewage contamination and how groundwater pulses are sending water bubbling up from below. Flood water is now like an uninvited guest in places like Staines. It first showed up just after Christmas and refuses to leave. Now what everyone wants to know is just how it's behaving and exactly what's in it. Take this flooded street. The latest pulse of water from the Thames has now passed, but the water in the road is still rising. Guy Flaskett took us in to see where his water is coming from. The sandbags won't do anything because it's not a, a volume of water moving towards your house. Yeah. It's coming up. Nothing you can do to stop it. It's just 250 yards from the flooded River Thames. There's ankle deep water on the street outside, but it's not coming through the front door. There's at least four inches of water seeping up through the ground underneath the living room floorboards. The Environment Agency has sent a team of flood recorders to the street. They're monitoring house to house to check whether what's happening on the ground agrees with what their flood warnings predicted. And it hasn't actually the properties yet. There's certainly river flood water and plenty of rain but residents are telling them the groundwater is confusing. It seems to be coming from the yeah. ground, yeah, because it's almost localised. If you yeah. sort of go up the road or down the road, it doesn't seem to be as bad. It's yeah. just down here. For others, it's coming from places you really don't want. It's, I can see it's backing up through your drain. It's, it's sewage water. It's sewage water where we're getting all over here and, and, and everywhere. I mean, it's awful. And they don't seem to be doing anything. Doris Chavez, like others in the area, has been advised not to flush toilets with the groundwater rising above the level of the sewers, what goes down is just as likely to come back up. And what's this water that's coming up through the it's floor coming, like? Is it, is it dirty water. water? It's sewage water. You can smell it. Yeah. It's, it's sewage water and it's coming. We haven't had showers. We are really limiting the amount of usage with the toilets and everything. We're not washing the clothes. I'm not washing the dishes because as you can see, the water comes through again. So we are living in such a basic conditions at the moment. With the river level falling for the time being, how can groundwater still be rising? We've got groundwater rising, we've got underneath the ground, we've got water moving around uh, along the river, it will be travelling underneath the ground along the river. So that will be changing and moving as well, so you're seeing pulses of groundwater coming up and down, the river water coming up and down as well. So it's not just where you live, but what ground lies beneath it that predicts whether your street ends up like this or not. There's a lot more unprecedented rain on the way, and that means more flooding, increasing the political pressure. The Prime Minister must be regretting rumoured comments about cutting the green crap, because there's a lot of it floating about right now, and it's not going anywhere fast. Tom Clark, Channel 4 News, in Staines. And our sad editor to Tom Clark is live here. Tom, um, here we have two motorways closed. The travel advisor, people just should not travel. Virgin trains, even so you don't even think about it. Uh, and the Prime Minister is saying it's going to get yet worse, and yet we've had hurricane winds and the highest speeds of winds ever recorded. Absolutely, there is this seeming conveyor belt of storms just coming in off the Atlantic. They've pretty much been doing it since that St. Jude storm in what was it, late November, well before Christmas, bashing into Britain. Storm after storm after storm. I was talking to meteorologists today, they said we, with the rain that's expected very, very soon, we're on course for this to be the wettest winter ever recorded in Britain. Those are records that go back to the 18th century. We're close to having had six months uh, rainfall in just two months since the new year. And as your report suggested, the aquifers and all the rest of it simply can't take any more, so it just has to pile up. That's right. There's, under Staines Bridge, hurtling down the Thames from that vast catchment, 400 tonnes a second of water hurtling down the Thames. But that's not just it. It's coming down the valley too through the rocks. So depending on your houses, if it's on gravel, the water rushes right through and out again. On clay, comes slower. Around here, what people are seeing is patchy water. It was going down in the Thames today, but up in the streets that we're standing in. Well,